Hello Dumpsterinos and Frugalisas, welcome to the video. We are dumpster diving at Dollar Tree and it's starting to rain. Here's Daddy, here's the Dollar Tree dumpster. I don't know why there's a shopping cart in it, but we have some bread products down there. And a case of some kind of cleaning product there, which I'm very excited about. Everything's a little bit wet because it's been raining for quite a while but I don't know that just makes things cleaner doesn't it I mean tell me that's not a good find there's cleaning product in there I think it's laundry detergent I'm not 100% sure Is that even broken? It's only made it to get in and out. Mm. That's true, because it doesn't look broken. Ooh, there he goes. That's very brave, Daddy. Into the wet dumpster. Start with the important stuff. Oh yeah. Gotta clear that in case somebody comes out. It's good that half the dumpster was closed at least. That box didn't get all wet. Are those little cleaning so are they um are those those are detergent? Oh my gosh. We need detergent too. I'm so excited. We used to get detergent free all the time with couponing, but then they changed the couponing rules and it just doesn't happen anymore, but this is so freaking awesome. All right, baby. I gotcha. Do you want a bag? Here's a bag for all the all the bread and stuff. What's that? Condiments. I think it would say sweet pickles. Oh, it's very wet. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's coming apart because, oh, something's broken. Okay, we got some broken ones. Broken. Not broken. Ooh, what's this? I didn't see that. Little hug fruit barrels. What's that? They're only five calories. Five calories. Diet blue juice. You wouldn't think a dumpster this low on merch would glean so much, but it's gleaning. It's gleaning. What's that, Daddy? <gasps> a dime? A dime. We're finding cash. <gasps> Matches. Beautiful. Good lord, people. Look at all that. The sign on the side of the dumpster advises against dumping your own trash in there. I know, you were sideways. Like, that was pretty amazing. Nice. Somebody interrupting the dance. <laughs> that was truly better than I expected. You wouldn't really thought there was anything good in there, would you? No. We just need to find hot dogs and hamburger meat now. We can have a cookout and then wash everybody's clothes. All right, Dumpsterinos, let's take a look at that pretty cool and impressive haul from that little Dollar Tree dumpster. All right, Frugal Daddy and his little dragon's hoard. We have got a full dozen of these little extra detergents one of which directions pre-treat for best no, results no. wet fabric and apply detergent directly onto spots and tough stains rub gently wait five to ten minutes then wash immediately always test an inside seam for color fastness like does anybody on the planet do that we told you to use three quarters of a cap for medium three loads three. use more for large or heavily soiled so loads full cap and that's just a little cap 
So it must be very concentrated. I mean, it does say 15 loads per bottle. That's why I queried you on this very topic. Do that's you think cool. that would be 15? That's why I read it. Keep it in the display, love. All right, we have five uh, packets of the pretzel nuggets filled with peanut butter. And they are past their best by date, not by a huge amount of time. So we wouldn't expect absolute fabulous freshness from them necessarily, but they're not moldy or anything. So I think you should open one packet right now because you love peanut butter filled pretzels and you could sample them and say, okay, despite the fact that the best by date was whatever it just said, October 11th, whatever, they are still crispy, crunchy, and delightful or, oh my God, these are so abysmally stale. Let's go throw them at our enemies. Well, Daddy wrestles that bag open. I'll show you the bread products. We have several packages of, I don't know if it's Ellie's or Eli's, cinnamon raisin bagels. We have four packages of hot dog buns and one of hamburger rolls. And then we have five loaves of the white bread. Did you get them open? It's in your mouth already. Is it crunch? I hear the crunch. Was it nice and salty on the outside? Because I noticed it spent some time rolling around on your mm -hmm. tongue. Has the peanut butter on the inside? Very good. Still fresh. Still okay. You're satisfied. Mm -hmm. You wouldn't have to gag them down. All right. Happy birthday, Frugal Daddy. I got you some pretzel nuggets. All right. We've also got this little six-pack of the blue juice, um, but only one gram of sugar per bottle. A bargain at twice the caloric. Uh, basically, it's blue water with five calories of sugar. Eleven jars. In a case of 12, one was broken, and there were 11 perfectly fine jars of little sweet gherkins which I have to tell you are quite popular in our home. We are pickle loving people, are we not, Frugal Daddy? Yes. I hear nothing. Mm. Uh, were we supposed to hear a, a really refreshing and satisfying pop? It was more like a grunt. I know, I heard the grunt. Yeah. It wasn't what we expected. That was me. Can you not get the lid off? Well, just bust the jar open, just smash it, because that's the other ones I ate in the car were just from the broken. <laughs> Just kidding. Should I try since I'm so strong? Best by February 17th, 2023. 2023. Oh, it's so filthy. It's so disgusting. It's a jar of pickles that was in a cardboard box that was soaked with clean rainwater. Okay, I can already feel the carpal tunnel syndrome acting up. I'm trying so hard. <sighs> Who's stronger than she looks? You want to try one? Yes, I do. Okay, let's trade. Okay. Look at the pickles. It's a good looking pickle. That's a good It looks pickle. fine. Crunch. I can hear the crunch from inside your little head. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that pretty good for a dollar store pickle? I'm eating it sideways, so it's trying to go that way. You're saying yes? Pickle. Okay. So you've got some pickle. good snacks today. I've got my cleaning products, which I'm super psyched about. I've got blue juice. And we have some bread products. And I think these are maybe three days past their best by date. I mean, I don't see any mold or anything. But if they, I mean, they also feel quite soft. They don't feel, you know, hard. They don't feel hard. The opposite of soft. But uh, I know people would give me grief if I said, well, if we don't eat them, we can just, you know, rip them up and go feed them to the seagulls. No, of course not. We would never feed this kind of bread to real, I was going to say human birds, to real wildlife, except that we might. But no, we'd never do that. Except we might. I mean, they look fine. They look they are fine. fine. They're soft and squishy. I see no mold. Hey, and if they get moldy, whatever. Homemade penicillin. What are you doing in the doggy position? Are you doing yoga? I'm not really. Just stuck? Due to my, um, I'm trying to think of the word. Like, it's an anti-stretchiness. My, um. Flabulosity? Flexibility. I have no flexibility. Oh. That's my friend. That's my friend. It, my it, <laughs> it might be. Yeah. Look at all the good stuff and the good frugal daddy. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed. 
we weren't really even planning to do that. I mean, we were going to the bank is what we were doing. We were pulling off a bank job and then there was the Dollar Tree dumpster next door. So we will see you tomorrow. Say thanks for watching.